Douche. Jen, yeah. <laughs> Think about it. Nowadays, we save money in terms of cooking. Here we got a microwave, toaster, kettle, and then on the phone, calculator. You got. You can check the bus time. You don't have to stand there waiting ten minutes. Mm. You can program things on your phone. You save all of that time. Yeah. If you calculate the time, technology saves for you. What are you doing with the extra two hours in the day? You're on Netflix. That's what you're doing. Okay, you're on Netflix or you're just wasting time being depressed about some relationship that you shouldn't have been in and just listening to music or a film just to pass the time. But then that further exacerbates your emotions, because if you're going through a breakup, yeah, and then you listen to a, a, a music track and then that music track, you're like, yo, Speaks this guy. No, it doesn't because that person's actually gone through a breakup, a proper breakup. Your breakup was dead. Yeah, but when you listen to a proper breakup, your mind is telling you, yeah, that's what we're going through, but we just didn't realize that. Right. So that situation so now, yeah, becomes worse. And you listen to another track, you watch a movie, and they're going through like Dev Das, and you're like, oh, he died for his <laughs> thing, and oh, he loves his bottle, and he does all of this. And then, but your thing was dead, like you met in the shisha lounge, <laughs> and then now she's found someone else, and then yeah. now you're putting Imran Khan songs on, and you're like, Beva fine. <laughs> so, <laughs> but the reality is, it wasn't that deep for you. But you want someone to validate that and you were like, yeah, it is deep for me. And you just make it worse for yourself. Time passes. Time passes. And then the rest of your time, you're on social media, your your reality has just become reduced to emojis. And you don't even communicate. Even your words are shortened. So when you are in a relationship, that's not gonna last. Mm. And then you just spend your time on Netflix or whatnot. You can't go to the masjid because you don't have that relationship. So what do you do? So the point that I'm trying to say is not just to leave you in that mm. kind of void. Yeah. It's that like an IKEA cupboard. If you make a wrong turn, you put a wrong screw in. Even if you go three steps ahead, you're not going to be able to move forward. So you have to unscrew that. Yeah. And then you have to realize what the problem is. And the problem is you have to fix your relationship with Allah. Then Allah will fix your relationship with the people.